Hello guys, so this is another um, electronic circuit lab kit that I got, and this is the most advanced one that I got. Um, this is the Maxitronics 301, and it's got to deal with um, exposed components of a circuit. So, as you, uh, as we talked about, there were um, resistors uh, from the other of Elenco 50 and one kit. Um, as you can see, this is known as a breadboard, and what you, what it is is basically you don't have to use one of those hot um, irons that <clears throat> solders metal to paste components onto a circuit board. You don't have to do that on a breadboard. This is a breadboard. You, all you got to do is you got to put your component. Like all you got to do is stick the <clears throat> one end of the metal twine of the components into these little holes. Now the corresponding holes to make your circuit. Um, so anyways, moving on. I am doing, pro I have just finished project seven, the light telegraph, because that is the most simplest circuit um, that this thing has. Um, one through six is some advanced stuff, so I didn't want to go there yet. Um, it's another light telegraph. As you can see, um, here are the LEDs of this circuit kit. We'll talk about this uh, in later videos, of course. Obviously, the speaker. So, um, so this is so this button right here, this square piece that I'm pointing to, is connected to the breadboard, in which these in which you see red and blue. This indicates positive and negative terminals of the, a battery. And then the middle here is where you put all your components. Or it doesn't really matter. I mean, you put the components down to the corresponding areas like shown here. In the top, the top um, <clears throat> middle section of um, this project part right here. This uh, diagram, sorry, schematic. Basic, or this is a schematic, and this is the diagram where you put your stuff, and obviously this is where I put my so-called resistor. Now, as you can see, the resistor has a number here, 470 ohms. This is the symbol of ohms, as I will zoom in to show you all. Um, so you can see right there, R1. R1 indicates that I am only using one um, resistor in the circuit. As you can see, kind of looking here, there's R13, which means there's 13 of the resistors in this full circuit. We'll talk about all that, all the other stuff later, because I don't want to go over that. That would be too long of a video. But anyways, 470 ohms is what we are using for this resistor right here. Zooming in to show you at least. And now, as you can see, what I haven't talked about last time is that there are colors, like color rings around the resistor. I will zoom even more to show you all. Now, as you can see right here, Colors don't look very different, but I will explain the color coding. Um, so 470 ohms. The first ring that is on the top of this capital I style, like bold letter style of this thing is yellow ring. That um, These rings indicates the number of ohms. And then the third ring of all four of these rings indicates how many zeros, so like how many digits within the number. So in this case here, there's a yellow, a violet or purple, and I believe, I 
think that's black. I'm not very sure. Um, either black or brown. But it's 470 ohms, so I'm going to give it a little look right here. Right now, I'm sorry. Um, I believe that is a brown because there's one zero. Obviously, if it was a black ring, it would only be 47 ohms. But because of the brown, it is, um, <clears throat> there's one zero, which equals 470. Now, yellow indicates four, and there's purple, which indicates seven. And so now, that is why it's 470. Uh, the gold, at this point in time, the gold ring that you saw does not matter. At least for right now. Now, moving on, this is the light telegraph. There are wires connected here and there. So these two wires here, this wire and this one, are connected to the breadboard, which has little metal things below the, the, um, the holes in rows, rows only. This one's connected to the resistor. The resistor is connected to this one. This connects to a switch. Th um, <clears throat> this connects to that. That goes to the switch. This right here goes to the negative side of whatever the, the side of the battery sh will be. And then this part here is connected to the positive side. The positive goes to the, the LED. And then this part here goes, or no, that goes to the battery, sorry. And this part up here, sorry, goes down to the resistor. Obviously, it's a complex style of a simple circuit. Like, I, I'm just going to say that. So anyways, as you can see, the light is turning on. As I turned off my overhead light, you can see the LED to the very far left is turning on as I keep the button pressed. This is the switch, by the way, of this unit, but it's not, but I don't have it connected because it wants you to use this. It's basically a light telegraph, and telegraphs are like, um, it's like texting in the 1910s, I think, starting there, like within World Wars or stuff. I I think so. I'm, I'm very not sure. You see, I have these around, and I want to show good con uh, content. Anyways, um, this is the circuit. That's all it is to it. And... Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. More content to come soon with this unit as well. And thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video. And peace out, y'all.